Hey my Taurus, this is Sarah Bay here with Flirty Sarah Spirit. We're going to look into your partner towards you. What's the obstacle, outside influence, third party-ish type of energy going down over here? How they feel about you? What's their next move? And what's the mutual energy that is between you guys right now? And starting out, your partner towards you is some type of separation. Um, time apart from your partner is on horizon. So you could be in complete separation with this person or this person just has backed away from coming around or communication. Um, or there definitely has been some change of where you're feeling like the energy of where the fuck is this motherfucker at? What is going on? Um, definitely. I mean, you can't get no clearer than that. Se separation. They're definitely feeling towards you that, you know, you and, and them aren't in that same energy of what you used to be. So let's clarify. Show us spirit more information of Taurus's partner towards them. Show us more Taurus partner towards them. And let's see, the devil is here representing Capricorn energy. Some type of low vibration-ish um, type of stuff has got them bound or either has like their attention or because of jealousy issues or uh, just craziness has them, you know, being in this full source energy, which is also that celebration. I mean, not celebration, separation, which is just kind of like taking a pause, taking a break, needing to reflect and to think about things. Uh is what it seems like and one more card three of pentacles is in reverse it's representing your energy so definitely could be dealing with another another earth sign or either could be dealing with an air sign still with the clarification of them towards you i'm still getting like that separation from them and the separation of is more like a pause or a break because something is not working well together. It could be that other things have their focus right now. So they can't really give their attention to you right now. Um, something is not working in their life, whether or not the connection with you isn't working or either actual money work um, is, is fucking with them <laughs> right now. So it's taking their energy off of you. So in a nutshell, them towards you is, you know, things are on hold a little bit or they're just not giving as much to this situation as what they used to be. And it seems to be because of this devil energy, something that has them bound. That's not a healthy ass energy, whether it's not them being petty, um, them fucking around or uh, them trying to figure out, you know, do they want to go all in with you? But as far as the obstacle that we have here, the issue, and it says pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So with that being like the energy of the, the, the outside influence, that's the energy towards what you have. So I feel like this separation and with the devil showing up, like this is your red flag towards to say, you know, hey, this needed to happen for you to really see who you're dealing with, you know? All of them, that peach cobbler and, 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 and sweet potato pie that this person was giving you before, they may not be all that, you know. They may be a little bit of, uh, you know, red pepper flakes on top of that sweet potato pie, you know. They just kind of like don't go along. So it seems like that there are definitely some red flags that is showing to you. So show us more spirit. What's going on? What's this obstacle? What's this? What's this red flag? What's the outside influence that's here? For well, my Taurus, two of Pentacles trying to juggle. Uh, again, work could be money, could be an issue that's here. Five of Pentacles, home life being put out uh, or them shutting you out. And then Ten of Wands. So this seems like this is more so of... Okay, for some of you guys, I do feel like that this person is in some way, shape, or form involved with somebody else. Um, and I feel as though they're juggling with the option of moving out the house or being put out the house or working on the connection with this, this other person. That's the red flag that I'm getting for some of you guys, that there is indeed 
another viable option that's here. So they're taking the step back from you to try to figure out this connection with this person, right? Which is a red fucking flag, right? The other thing is, is that I feel like that they may have, this is, they have a situation with their money in their household. So they are being juggling things around, um, but it's not working. Like it's a huge burden or obligation to the tune that they don't have time to handle whatever this situation is that, that involves their household and their money. Um, they don't have the, the, the energy or the, to be able to fix this because it, it's very heavy for them and continue on developing or continuing nurturing this relationship with you is what it seems as though that it's saying. That's scenario number two. For others, I feel like that this has something to do with maybe they were living with their third with the with the person. Um, could have been like another woman, another man, like you know somebody that would have been a boo bay. But maybe this was was unbeknownst to you. But they have to make a decision. They can't juggle you in this situation no more because you know their other person is going to find out and then they'll be put out. So that's like a huge burden to them. So they just need to step away from you right quick to try to figure out their home life situation. It's kind of what I'm getting there. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know, I'm just feeling compelled to look deeper into this, so. What's the obstacle? What's the obstacle? What's the outside influ in interference between my Taurus and Taurus partner? Four of Pentacles, again, a lot of situations with money or just heavy issues with uh, another earth sign. Okay, so Four of Pentacles, temperance in reverse, representing Sagittarius energy, meaning that something is unresolved. Um, and then the hangman is also in reverse, needing to see things from a different perspective. Hmm. I feel like whatever this situation is, they're not communicating with you, of course, for the most of you guys. You have no idea, but you're trying to piece it together to figure out what it is. Um, I feel as though, again, this looks like somebody being locked out. Like, you know, especially with that five of pentacles showing here, like they have, it just seems like that whatever situation that they're dealing with is, is greater and bigger than their situation with you at the moment. And they can't juggle it all. Because this situation right here is it needs to a solution needs to come to this immediately because this right here is the at the foundation of everything else that they got going on in their life. So if this them trying to find a place to stay or not trying to put, get put out from the person that they're living with, you know, if it was, you know, indeed a secret, another relationship or um, if they're good with getting put out, but they're trying to find another space to go or they're just trying to tie up this this relationship with this other person before they can really do anything with you maybe they, they started something with you but they had some unresolved business with somebody else so it's like that they're back trying to resolve that issue with that person and to see where shit is going for some of you guys I definitely do feel like like this is somebody choosing the other person in this current energy doesn't mean that they're going to stay in this energy but currently right now they have chosen to let this go and they may have chosen that because you have let them go you know so it could be a scenario that's like that of that they feel like you you disconnected um so they have no other choice but to try to figure this shit out because you paid attention to the red flags and was like oh no i'm out of this piece you know Hmm. Very interesting. So basically, in a nutshell, it's some burdens and some obligations that's going on with, with your person. And that's what's causing the interference between you and them. And that's what's also causing them to separate from you, especially if this separation is something that they didn't really communicate or you guys haven't discussed or talked about. Um, before it actually happened so it wasn't like an argument and y'all actually physically had a conversation about breaking up you know wasn't no come get your shit it's just this person just kind of fell back or fell off that's what it seems like 
because in their feelings, they're feeling like they need to let go of this situation. Whew, Taurus, this is not the way that I was hoping this was going to look for you guys. But they're feeling like, you know, they may need to let this go because either because you may not, they don't feel like that you'll be understanding to this burden obligation that they got going on. Or they just need to let it go right now because this does seem like a pause in order to get their shit together, in order to get their life together, that they can't give you what they want to give you because they don't have it to give right now. So show me more about how Taurus's person feel about them. Show me more about how Taurus's person feel. King, Queen of Swords here. Yeah. Oh, God. Whew. Baby. Lovers. That's Gemini's energy. That's, that's how they feel. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have? And then the world is in reverse. The world in the upright meaning a completion of a cycle. Um, could also mean like traveling, celebration, and love. But... Uh, with this queen of swords here that could be dealing with an air sign the air sign is also represented by this gemini energy here with the lover's card so i feel like you know when we're looking at how they feel they feel like it's a delayed success on being with their love you know but this is the the head over heart decision the kind of you know let's just stand in the facts and not emotion type of decision that I have to make, which is to let go. But even though I'm letting go and I feel like I'm letting, I need to let go right now. I don't feel like that it completes anything between us. Like it doesn't mean that my love for you has ended towards. It's just something that again, I have to do because this is a burden. I have some type of burden obligation that I don't either want to share with you or you can't handle. Um, you can't fix it for me. Or it's just me trying to handle something that has something to do with a third party that I'm embarrassed about. Or if I know if you knew in its entirety that you would never fuck with me again. But with the lovers being here, just because they're choosing in the moment to back away from this connection, it definitely still seems as though that the love that they have for you is real and still very much so there. They're not making a decision to let go on emotions because they don't want you anymore. It's because they have their own fucking issues. So their next move, it says, let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So with that being said, kind of leads me to make me feel like their their next move with you, Taurus, is to stop trying to force this separation or Stop trying to force anything. Stop trying to control what you do see or don't see because that's that devil-ish type of energy trying to control the situation because it's producing so many fucking red flags. And, you know, and really they need to just let this situation unfold naturally by either explaining shit to you or, you know, instead of trying to force a disconnect or not talking to you as much, not responding back to you as much instead of, blatantly or intentionally doing something just 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 fall back off of the control part of the making this be a separation so show us more about Taurus's person's next move in this connection show me more about Taurus's person's next move in this connection Five of Cups, because it seems like that they're going to regret a decision that has been made, um, no matter, even though they still have these, this other two, two of Cups that's standing there, they're still crying over the three that spilt, that spilt. So if this is a situation about a third party or choosing between you and somebody else, you know, you to them are three cups, them to them are two cups. So you hold more weight to more love, more emotion. Like they love you more, um, even though maybe that they were trying to choose this situation over here or the other situation because of not having to move household, family, not want to be on child support or 
living arrangements, just whatever it has, because it seems like it has something to do with money and stability. It's like, but they still realizing that they love you more. They miss you would be their next move. Seven of Cups having those options to choose from. See, I'm on. And then the Page of Pentacles. That's your energy, Taurus. That's it. But it's also that coming, trying to offer you something small, but it's still trying to offer up some type of communication or good news, even though it may come in a little bit slow or developing some type of plan in order to um, not be stuck in a delusion or a fantasy world or caught up in some shit that, that they don't actually want. Um, this page of Pentacles is also about taking initiative. I don't know. Let's look a little bit more deep into this. What's Taurus's person next move in regards to them? What's Taurus's person's next move? The death energy, Scorpio energy, two of cups, and then the justice. I, I honestly feel like if this is them having uh, a third party and they separated a pull back from you trying to figure out what was going to happen between them and the third party, even if they tried to make it work or they live with the person, didn't want to have to move out. What the fuck ever that situation is. I feel like this is more so because justice comes out at the end. I um, could be dealing with the Libra Scorpio, but this to me seems like that they're going to dead that connection did that connection in order to bring justice to you because of five of cups is here. If that five of cups wasn't here and the page of pentacles wasn't here, I would look at it the other way around of saying that they're making the executive decision to go ahead and end this overall with you. But I feel like that they're going to find a way to transform or to end, um, this connection with this other person. The death card is also about a, a cycle having to end in order for a death has to occur in order for a birth to recur. Occur. Occur? That's just what I'm trying to say. The two of cups would be this separation type of energy with you because, you know, they look at you as their lover. So you're like that soulmate ish type of energy. But if it's clarifying the let go of control issues, it's like, ending that cycle of this of this devil energy cycle um that was causing the separation and bringing justice back to the situation with you so it definitely seems as though they're coming their next move is to get out of their own way of self-sabotaging this situation or choosing the wrong decision and come flying back in saying hey you know you are who i want to be with because they seem to be unhappy without you yeah unhappy without you this is a return as well hmm okay so worth waiting for it shows up as the mutual energy so I, I feel like that you're trying to figure out is this you know connection something that is worth waiting for and I feel like that with it being your mutual energy like you're over here trying to figure out is this person or this situation worth waiting for and is this somebody that's going to actually come back around? Like, what are they going to do? Are we supposed to be together? Like, you know, unanswered questions so much for you. And for them, I feel like uh, they're also trying to figure out is, you know, them coming back around or them choosing you is worth it. Because it seems it says divine timing is at work in your love life. And with that being the mutual energy, it's like both both sides wanted to take a chance on this situation. Want to take a gamble on this situation. They may not just know how to do that because their baggage is a lot heavier than yours. Strength is in reverse, representing Leo, the fool. And then the four of ones again. So worth waiting for is clarify, like not having the courage, don't know what to do, trying to take the easier way out. But then saying, fuck it with the fool. And like, I'm going to jump all in. And four of ones, it's like the marriage card, the relationship card, 
the hey surprise i'm here i am the one for you is also again the soulmate card with this this lovers so i do feel like for some of you guys and that may be why this connection is a little bit difficult because the majority of the time soulmate ish and i don't really like to use those words soulmate and twin flames because y'all drive them in the in the ground so freaking much and think everybody that give you some good sex is your soulmate and it's like no he just got good wanker that's it but in this particular situation i do feel like that there is some type of soul tie ish type of energy and it this will all end up coming full circle for y'all but it just may take some time I don't react when people mention you. Um, I feel like that's them trying to stand in that separation, trying not to, you know, show how hurt they are um, or showing how much they're in that five of cups, like, you know, regret type of situation. I hid who I really am from you. Again, I feel like that's that's and I hope that you can forgive me one day. It's up under the day. I feel like that that's the energy of um, I hear who I really am. Like they hid their financial situation, their home life situation or either this third party that they was dealing with or living with. You know, like they hid their real true circumstance with you. So that's why it's easier for them to be a, a coward and not stand in their strength. And kind of pull back from you right now and to feel like that they just need to let it go because it'll be easier physically for them to just walk away or to back back from this this connection but what they're realizing is is that love is stronger uh than that physical so it's not as easy as what they was thinking that it was going to be to pull back from you so we're going to pull a couple of cards from my Flirty Savage Oracle deck. It is available now on my website at flirtysavage.com. Uh, they're saying it's not what it looked like. Hiding things and then travel is involved. This could mean that they're going to be traveling to come and see you. Um, could mean that they're going to be traveling to come and see you or them hiding things is they're needing a pullback right now because they may be needing, supposed to be going on a trip with baby mama, baby daddy, you know. Uh, but again, with it, with it saying not what it looks like here, it, I don't feel like that they actually like love the other person or them pulling back is not off of emotions. It's like them trying to travel away from you um for you to just not find out something so you won't completely like leave them alone I feel like that they're still checking up on you looking into you checking on your social media but i'm miserable without you is more of that five of cups energy like they really are missing you in this moment you know even as we speak as of right now uh even though they're pulling away or you haven't heard from them or you guys are in not great communication or no communication you are still heavy in their energy they have heartache when it comes to you a lot of pain and distress um is coming to is is coming and as i say coming towards you the fidelity card comes out so i do feel like at some point in time um this love is going to get uncaged between the two of you guys and it'll end up you know fidelity but end up being offered but here again and i just looked and it says triangle up under the bottom so this definitely involves a third person or some type of third destructive uh, energy that's yes, here free will is showing here so this person has to stand in this energy of making that decision because it all over the board is saying about destiny it's about um divine timing it's about the universe is trying to lead this thing to a full circle of you guys actually being together but there is free will that's involved so both parties have to decide that this connection is not only worth waiting for but you have to decide if it's worth waiting for and they have to decide if it's worth choosing and if it's worth working for so i'm gonna leave this bad boy right here because again another deep ass fucking reading taurus hope you have subscribed to my channel because baby let me tell you tauruses we have the best time 
If you have already subscribed to my channel, I love you a long time. If you haven't, click it now, and I'll see you guys on the next read.